So guys, today is the big one. We've got the second leg against Real Madrid in the Champions League. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm a little bit tense about this match because I know for a fact this is going to be very, very difficult. And I'm just going to get straight into it. So hopefully we can pick up a goal. We have to score today at the Bernabeu to, uh, to get through into the next stage. Because of course, it was 1-0 in the first leg and they got an away goal. So I've got to score against Real Madrid away from home. Now, as you guys know, we have had a lot of fixtures recently and we've got a lot of injuries, especially in one position, right midfield. Mares and Oxlade-Chamberlain are both out injured and it's been a pain in the arse. I'm actually struggling to get all my wingers fully fit. So I think I'm, I'm going to have to call back Wal Walcott at some point, who is obviously out on loan. Um, so maybe that's something we need to do. Having a look at this Real Madrid team, it looks very similar to the one that we played against at home. Ronaldo is the man to watch out for. Bale on that right side, of course. It's going to be such a tough game, and I can't believe I've got to score. There's, there's, I, I mean, I've, there's no like no way around it. I have to score today, otherwise I'm out. Um, Iwobi was a little bit tired. Sanchez was a little bit tired. Griezmann isn't fully fit, but I've got to use them. I can't not use my best players in what is probably the biggest game of the series so far. If we can beat Real Madrid, we can beat anyone. That's how I feel right now. And that's why I think it's such a big game because it, it puts a marker down, doesn't it? Anyone that we get after this round, I think we can cope with. Um, but at the moment, we're not looking too good here. Carvajal driving down the right side. Is he going to go for a cross? No, Sidibe, well defended. Poked that through for Iwobi. He's in loads of space. It's gone a bit wide now, though. Let's try and get a cross in. Oh, go on. Griezmann's there. Away goal. 20 minutes in. Yes! Come on, that's what I needed. What a cross this is from Iwobi. And it's a lovely header. Navas, what are you doing? For one of the best keepers in the game, he has completely screwed up there. And that's only Griezmann's second goal. But that could be the biggest one of the tournament so far. Over here to Sanchez. Back to Griezmann. Out for Ozil against his old club. I'm going to go cross goal. Go on, go on. Oh my God. Meza Ozil. Meza Ozil may have just wrapped this up. What a finish. Is this game over? Surely not. Real Madrid are way too good to be losing this 2-0. I mean, Navas again. That, that is his fault. This should not be going in. It's not even a very good strike. Well, actually, no, it is. It's a pretty good strike. But Navas, you, you've got to save that. 2-0 up and it's not even half time now. I think I can afford to go on defensive. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. No. James. So, so close. If he went with his left foot, I think they would have scored there. But there is the half-time whistle. I am so excited right now. But I know what can happen. If you get complacent, all I need to do is concede one goal. And then they score again. And as simple as that. Although they would need to score another one, wouldn't they? Basically, right now, I am favourites to go through. But I am not... It's not over until it's over, right? I am not getting too ahead of myself. Real Madrid have a free kick in a good position. Is he going to shoot? No, he's gone for the cross. Ramos is there. And again, Leno saves it. Keep it out. Yes, well done, Bellerin. Well done. Here's Modric. I'll tell you what. Madrid are playing very well right now. Modric has just come on. So they're definitely going to be playing a bit more attacking without Casemiro. Let's try and get out here for Alexis. Not the greatest of passes. Bale's won that. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Madrid are getting this close to scoring. I'm going to make a change now. Two changes, actually. Ramsey and Coquelin coming on. Ramsey's going to play out on the right wing, but I've put him on defensive duties. I've set his instructions to come back and help defend. We don't need to be attacking right now. And, of course, Coquelin, I mean, he's always going to help out this team defensively. Real Madrid need to score now. If they don't score now, I think it's game over. They've still got the ball here. No, no. <sighs> Leno again. He is unbelievable. What a signing he's proved to be. And look at that. The possession is very, very close, just in favour of Madrid. And it's another very poor corner, but Ronaldo actually did quite well there. Hang on. The chase is on. Ozil's not going to be able to beat Modric to the ball. If only he was a little bit quicker. We're on the break now. Here's Ramsey. Play out here to Verratti. Inside for Griezmann. Through for Ramsey. We're through. Ramsey, please. 3-0. Oh, Navas came out so quickly. Right, okay. Just over 10 minutes to go. Come on. Oh, here we go again. Sidibe this time. Pass it inside for Ramsey. Through for Sidibe again. I'm going to have to square this. Goal. Oh, it's in off the post. That's it. <laughs> We're done. Screw you, Madrid. 3-0 at the Bernabeu. And I think I've had maybe four chances. I mean, that's ridiculous. Three goals from about four chances. Maybe five. 
That is actually a very dodgy finish. If that if that missed, I would have cried. Oh no! No, I don't want them to get a goal. Come on, get back Laporte. Come on. No! No! Oh, Leno! No, Ronaldo's there! No! 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 <laughs> I wanted the clean sheet! Oh, I'm so glad they scored in the last minute and not, you know, at the beginning of the second half. That would have been awful. Bale did very well. Leno with another great save. But what was Ronaldo doing? Took his sweet time to pass it. He probably could have scored. But I think, guys, it's a little bit late for Madrid to, to mount a, com a comeback. And that is the end of the game. We've made it through past Real Madrid, one of the best teams in the game. And boy, did we do it convincingly. What a performance. Just look at the stats, though. I, I don't know how we've won this game 3-1. I mean, I can understand winning the game because maybe we had better chances, but we were way more clinical. Although they had seven shots on target. Leno played out of his skin today. That was a really, really good performance from our goalkeeper, but also our side going forward. They did so well. Let's take a look at the other fixtures in the Champions League round of 16. We got very unlucky with our draw, to be honest, but there are some other really big games that have gone on. We've got Chelsea and Juventus drawing two all. I'm not sure who's actually gone through there. Uh, my bet would be Chelsea, to be honest. We've beaten Madrid 4-2 on aggregates. It looks like City have been knocked out by Monaco. Oh dear. And the same with Tottenham being knocked out 3-0 by Lyon. I mean, that's that's not very good, is it? Barcelona going through against PSG. Inter Milan beating Porto. Dortmund are out. Atletico Madrid beat them 2-1 on aggregate. And Manchester United are out as well because Bayern have beaten them 2-1. So we've got some big teams that we can come up against in the quarterfinals. But out of those, I'm hoping for either Monaco, Lyon or Inter Milan. I think any of those three and I will be absolutely over the moon. But now, guys, back into the Premier League. We have Liverpool at home. They're down in eighth place. Doesn't mean anything. I mean, form goes out of the window in games like this. A big rivalry. It's all about the result on the day. And Liverpool, I know, can be a very good team. Hopefully, we'll pick up another win, though. In terms of home games, we've won 10 out of 14, drawing three, and we've only lost once. That is not too bad. Let's have a look at the lineups now. It's pretty much the same team that just played, although we're having Ramsey come in instead. And also, I've decided to go with Evans up front, and we're going to have... Griezmann at Cam. Slightly different lineup, but the same players in and around the team. I thought Evans, he's been in such good form in the Premier League. Why not play him in this match against Liverpool? Now, my guess is Klopp is going to go with a 4-3-3. That seems to be the formation he's been using. There you go. It's a very nice team there. Markovic back from his loan, playing on that right side. Firmino and Pastore. Tolisso is on the bench. Henderson's there as well. They have got some great impact subs there, but it's not the strongest team ever. I can see why they're down in eighth, to be honest. Here's Iwobi. I'm going to go straight away on the inside. Look at him go. He's so powerful when he gets going. Pass inside again. We're through with Ramsey. 1-0 already. Yes, it is. 1-0 already. And it's yet another early goal in the Premier League. What a start. Look at that. Not even five minutes in. Four minutes, 55 seconds. Lovely assist from Griezmann and a great finish from Ramsey. Over the top. Oh, what a pass. Griezmann, he's going to be so deadly behind the striker as well. Pass it inside for Evans. Flick it on. Go on, Iwobi. Finish it, Iwobi. It's 2-0. We are destroying teams at the moment. We're in such good form. This time last season, I was saying I need to score more goals. And that is exactly what is happening a year later, a season onwards. That's his first in the Premier League this season. That I can't believe that. He hasn't played many games in the Premier League, I guess. More in the FA Cup and the Capital One Cup. But still, whenever Iwobi plays, he always impresses me. He's such a good player. Although, we might be in a bit of trouble here. Markovic has gone through. Oh, my God. That is ridiculous. That was a long pass from the goalkeeper. He just smashed it down the pitch. My uh, defenders were pushing up a little bit too far there, not playing deep enough. And Markovic, he's quick. And all of a sudden, we're 2-1 uh, instead of 2-0. God damn it. Not the greatest of timing to concede, but we're still 2-1 up. And that was Liverpool's first proper chance, I would say. So we're containing them very well. Liverpool have brought on Tolisso instead of Lucas Leiva. So I think they're going to get on the attack a little bit more in this second half. Now Evans up to Iwobi. Back into Evans. Oh, it's great play. Fantastic. Pass over the top now. Go on, Alexis. Go on. No, get away from me. Pass it into the box. No, what was that back heel? That was so bad. Go on, Alexis. Oh, what a ball that is from Xhaka. Come on, 
Evans might be in for a goal here if Alexis can't score. Pass it back in. Go on, Evans. Yes, there we go. Evans scores again. He's not going to get a hat-trick today, but he has scored again. What? Really? <laughs> okay, sure. We can concede a goal like that. Look at this great defending. Oh, nicely done, Sidibe. I know, let's turn into a player. Honestly, Matt, what were you thinking? Luckily, we got that third goal. Otherwise, this would have been a disappointing draw. We've come away with the three points, but two pretty poor goals conceded today. Sorry, Jurgen Klopp. Great Liverpool side. I, I think even though they're in eighth, they probably should be a bit higher because they've got some great players in there. And they play some great football in FIFA and in real life. But we've come away with the win and we probably deserve it. So Mares is just two weeks away from coming back from his broken toe. Of course, Oxlade-Chamberlain will not be featuring again in this season and maybe never again if we're not doing season three. So I thought about bringing Walcott back from his loan, but actually I've decided we're not going to because Iwobi's playing well. We do have other players like Jeff Rennie Adelaide if we have to, but two weeks for Mares to come back, that's not too long. We should be okay. Now, moving on into our next Premier League game, we have Bournemouth away from home. Let's have a look at this team. They've got some great players in there like Gradell, Callum Wilson. They've got Tyrone Mings at left back, who, by the way, I signed in my Bournemouth career mode before it happened in real life. I predicted it. Mystic MGH. Let's hashtag it. Um, but my team today, guys, is completely different. Najar, Gabriel, Koscielny, Sidibe, Rene Adelaide comes in, El Nenny. There's a lot of different players coming in. Evans stays up front. Let's try and get another hat trick. Come on, Lewis Evans. Here's El Nenny straight away. Inside here to Ramsey. It's a nice turn. Back to El Nenny. Or actually, no, we'll go to Najar. I see Xhaka running into the box. He's, un he's unmarked. Oh, wow, Xhaka. He's got the left foot of a god. He's got a left foot as good as Podolski's, but he couldn't finish that. And now here is Bournemouth's danger man. Got to be careful of him on that left side. Oh, my god. Oh, wow, we almost conceded. Pretty much similar to the first attack we've had. Gradell down that left side. I've got to be so careful with his pace. Come on, Elneny. Through ball for Ramsey. Decent first touch. He's still going here. Go on, Evans. Make your run. Oh, that was lucky. Great first touch from him as well. Ball goes in. Oh, Xhaka. He scores this time. That was a phenomenal goal. I got very lucky with a couple of first touches there. And I was able to get it into the box for Xhaka. Really nice assist from Evans. Let's not concede before half time, please. Go on, Koscielny. Get in there. Oh, no. This isn't good. Sidibe's missed his tackle. Wilson. Oh, that was a poor pass back. That should be... Oh, that's a foul. He's playing on. Oh, no. No. Leno with a big save. Right, that should be half time. Woo, we got away with it there. Bournemouth have definitely stepped it up in this second half. They're playing some great stuff. Here's Mings. Goes for the cross. Koscielny gets it out. Can't believe Koscielny isn't even a first team defender right now for me. That's how good this squad has got. And I've just completely lost the ball. Come on, Xhaka. Oh, okay. Poor pass. Oh, what a tackle, Rene Adelaide. Come on. Get it through for Evans here. Back over to Rene Adelaide. It's a good play. Over the top. Oh, what a ball. Iwobi's in. Come on, Iwobi. Finesse it. Oh, I should have passed it. I actually should have passed it that time. Rene Adelaide now. Cut back. This is good. Pass it inside again. El Nenny's still going. Pass it inside. No! It just clipped Evans, and that's the chance gone. But I think that might be enough to win this game now. Come on, one more chance. Come on. Oh, damn it. Okay, we get a 1-0 win. We haven't scored many goals in this game. But we're in such good form right now, I cannot complain. And it is another three points. Don't forget, guys, Bournemouth are actually a top four side this season. So getting a win against them, even though it was only 1-0, was a very good result. But talking of good results, Manchester United have lost another game they are now six points behind us I mean is it over are we gonna win the Premier League I think we're we're well on course right now after that result six points with only you know a couple of games to go towards the end of the season I mean that is that's not good news for United and Spurs are catching up a little bit but it looks like they're gonna get third it's between a few teams getting fourth but um, we're looking like we're going to run away with it, guys. And I'm really, really happy with that. In the next episode, we will continue our progress in the Premier League. But of course, it will be time to find out who we've got in the Champions League quarterfinals. So hopefully you're excited to find that out. I don't even know yet. And I'm not going to look until I hit record next time. So thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you hit the like button if you've enjoyed this episode. Make sure you subscribe as well. And I will see you in the next episode very soon.